All right, guys, so if you've seen our videos, and I'm assuming you have, and that's why you're here watching this one, you've probably seen us talking about shooting turkeys in the shiny spot with a bow and arrow. And what we're talking about is where we aim, um, referring to the shiny spot as this copper band that you see right here and where you'd want to aim. But we got a lot of questions. People said, well, what about when they're not strutting? Well, here's the one, first thing that I would tell you is that there's no absolutes in any kind of shot placement video, meaning there's not a absolutely aim right here because an animal could be leg forward, leg backwards. An animal can be turned just slightly one way or another. So all things change, but we're going to give you a pretty good idea and we're going to be able to shoot, use this turkey to show you that. So the first one that we'll talk about is non-strutting turkey from a broadside position. And what we're looking at is I want to come in between the two legs center the two legs and right through the wing. I'm trying to do the same thing that I'm trying to do with my shooting them in the shiny spot when they're strutting, but it doesn't work exactly the same because their wings aren't in exactly the same position. But I got an arrow here so that I can kind of demonstrate to you. Let me turn this turkey just a little bit so I can see. There we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. But if in this case, this bird is at like legs are stretched out, I want to cut them in right between those two legs and right in the dead center part of the shiny spot. This being the shiny spot. And I'm kind of right in here because I'm trying to split the two legs and I'm trying to puncture both wings. Why am I doing that? Because that way the bird can't leave. If you break both of this, if you break a turkey's legs, they can't fly. You've heard me say that in the other videos, but if you can break their legs, they can't fly. They have to be able to get off the ground. So if I'm looking at a best shot placement, for, in my opinion, is gonna be right there, just like that. That's what I'm looking for. I'm splitting the legs and I'm catching both wings. People might say, well, are you, why aren't you shooting them right in the vitals? Because I've, if I shoot them right in the vitals and I've seen it a number of times, you hit them in the heart, lungs, and then they fly off and you still lose your bird. If you can knock their legs out from underneath them, you're gonna find that turkey there. There's also a lot of vascular parts to the, the turkey. You're going through the, the, the center of the turkey and you probably, with the, with the right kind of broadhead on there, you're probably gonna center a lot of different things. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. So that's shot placement, broadside on a non-strutting turkey. Now let's talk about if they're looking at you. So if they're looking at you, I'm just gonna turn this around. Again, in this particular case, where you need to hit this turkey is right under, right in the center of his beard to be right in the right location to go right through that bird, to get through everything. And so right in here. However, if that bird was down a little bit or anything like that, you might end up being having to shoot somewhere at the top of the beard. Again, that's where there's no absolutes. I'm just gonna go over roughly where you would need to aim. And on this particular bird, the way he's standing here right now, you're probably halfway, you're right in the center of that beard is what you're looking at when you're trying to shoot them straight on. Now, another good shot that works, shoot them in the waddles or in the head, but we're talking about body shots on a turkey in a non-strutting position. So right through the center of that beard is gonna be the best shot that you can put on this bird. Okay, going away. If we're gonna do going to, let's talk about going away because this one's really tricky because it makes it very difficult when you look at the bird, you want to, you think you want to aim way up in here somewhere and you actually don't. You want to be right above their tail feather, where the, all the tail feathers come together. That actually puts you in the center of the bird. So you're down way lower on a going away turkey. And it does, I know it doesn't seem like that, but it's actually a more effective shot. Again, this is all relative to how this turkey is standing. And in this particular case, this bird right here, I'm probably looking at somewhere just like that right there. And that would put me going through the center of the cavity. And actually what I could see if I look on the other side, it actually puts me coming out about the middle of the beard, which makes sense because that's where we were talking about aiming at this turkey on the other side. So there you have it. That is a non-strutting turkey. We hopefully, hopefully, I think this is a perfect diagram to give you a better understanding. But just remember, be careful. Don't shoot down in the, in the um, tail feathers of a uh, non-strutting walking away turkey because you'll catch nothing. But also don't be up here too high. You'll just go through their breasts if you don't break their spine. So, and you want to be right dead in the center of them. So just where the tail feathers come together and right in somewhere like that. And that should put you coming right out the center of the turkey.
So there you go, non-strutting turkey. Hopefully that helps you and hopefully we're gonna see pictures from you killing your own turkey. <laughs>